Hi, uh, my name is Lenore Von Stein, and this is an episode of The Facts. And with me tonight is Bern Nix, Andrew Bolotowski, Rachel Evans, and Beth Griffith. And um, this episode uh, I'm setting in the far future, uh, like a thousand years from now. And I'm doing that because I, 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 I was thinking, what is a safe way to discuss uh, corruption and corporate crime? And, and so either, you know, you, you do this kind of like from the viewpoint of the future or from the past, like Shakespeare. central character in this story is named Palau, um, and uh, that's a takeoff on the name of a beautiful island, which I'm pretending disappears in uh, 2300 from global warming, and, and, but by year 3000, which is when this story is set, uh, it's, it's being faithfully reconstructed in the same place uh, with the same topography uh, to stabilize the weather, to the current animal life, regreen the earth. A family I knew in Japan showed me pictures of the block that we, I was staying on when it had been bombed out during World War II, and the, and the people on the block came, all the houses were destroyed, the people on the block came out in front of the block, they set up campsite, and they rebuilt the block as it was. <laughs>
This character, Palau, is 210 years old. And uh, she, she's, but she's fully healthy, fully alive. She, she grew up in this boxy apartment looking over at the sea. And um, the earth is very crowded because people, you know, a lot of people, and a lot of them are living to be very old. But all the housing is healthy. The power is renewable and free. People move often. Health care, education, transportation is free. And, and many lousy jobs, you know, like jobs with repetitive labor or cleaning, uh, these are done by machines. That's the future for you. Um, so um, endless marketing going on with the, what the stories, endless marketing and the misinformation and the war from the past centuries, these have largely given way, but uh, at least temporarily, but it still weighs on people and, um, and it confuses them, uh, e even though most of them are very well informed, they're politically active, and this political activism starts in childhood when children have real input into school. They really, these little kid governments actually can change things and, and make things happen. And there's a popular kids game at this time. It's, a, it's like a game slash greeting, and it's, it's uh, who are you today and why? <laughs>
next chapter. Okay. So, in this future world, uh, so economic exploitation and racism have dramatically receded, and the judicial and the prison system and the military systems are particularly altered by these changes. Births are limited. Uh, uh, sexual love relationships a average eight years, and most children live with one parent at a time. People are likely to change jobs and professions with some ease, and they have many, several relationships over the course of their long lives. So, in this story, with poverty gone and physical child abuse gone, there are no more prostitutes. Uh, pornography is done with animations, but people, people are still in danger of, of occasional violence, um, uh, especially women. Uh, sex has become central uh, to, the, to modern religions. It's analyzed at the religious meetings. It's, 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 part of, it, it's central to the oneness doctrines.
So back to this, or leading to the central issue at, the, at, at this point in the story. So people are sexually active all their lives, healthy, getting married, you know, da, da, they, may, they live to be 200, Palau is 210. And many people are bald in this story, you know, because hair is something we don't really need, you know, so it's going to go. And, um, and so the trauma of these multiple breakups, uh, it's, it's a big problem affecting a people's ability to trust each other, to open up, and, and, and to enjoy each other. Palau is a musician, and she writes music, and this is what she's writing about, this inability to, uh, to trust people, uh, and, and, and to make, and, and how to, whatever you've seen and felt, felt you've seen. future that I'm imagining, the, the, the things that, many of the things that were impeding people are, have been broken away, and the full person is about to break through, but doesn't quite, hasn't quite made it, and, and, um, and Palau's work, she's, and she's also, she's all, she's trying to explore this, this poignant, pregnant state, and, um, a personality about to be born under wraps, um, but just thinner wraps than in the past. And aspects of this, of the, of the wariness that people have with each other, of the, of the care in which they take approaching each other, and and, and the amounts of themselves that they show, and and um, and uh, th these have been codified for many centuries now, and, and, and by this time in fine and popular art, and 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 and, and, and these works supply, they supply sympathy and and uh, to the audience comradeship. Um, but they have not really moved the mountain.
So the future, ladies and gentlemen, looks very bright to me. <laughs> and so as we, as we, as we waggle off. <gasps> I really want good, good. So see, I hope it catches online, whatever, you know. See you around. Good night. Mm -hmm.